missing measures. Just like with two-dimensional figures, we can use the formulas we've been working with to find lateral area, surface area, and volume to find other missing measurements. To do this, we need to do the following. Choose a formula based on what we know and what we want to find, plug in what we know, and then use algebra to solve for the missing variable. In this example, the cylinder below has a volume of 238.761 cubic centimeters. We're asked to find the radius, and we've been given the height of the cylinder. We remember that the volume of a cylinder is equal to the area of the base times the height, and the area of the base is pi r squared times the height. So we've got pi times the radius squared, which we don't know, times the height, which we do know, and we're told that the volume is 238.761. So we want to get the r alone. In order to do that, we're going to divide out not by 19 and divide by pi. That's going to get the rid of the 19 and the pi from the side with the r squared. So we'll get the r squared on its own, and it'll move those two over to this side. So let's see how that works out. If we divide both sides by pi and 19, we end up with 238.761 divided by 19 pi is equal to r squared. I'll do that math on my calculator, and I get 4 is equal to r squared. Therefore, I can find r by taking the square root of 4, which I think at this point most people can figure out fairly straightforward is 2 without even using their calculator. So the radius is 2 centimeters. A square-based pyramid has a surface area of 172.8 centimeters square. The square base has sides measuring 6 centimeters. What is the slant height? So we've been given a pyramid, and we've been asked to find the slant height, which is this part here. We've got the surface area is equal to 172.8 centimeters squared, and we know that the base has a side. Each side is 6 centimeters. So we remember that the surface area for a square base pyramid is the area of the base plus the lateral area. The area of the base is going to be 6 times 6, and the lateral area is the perimeter of the base times the slant height divided by 2. So we've got 36 plus the perimeter of the base, which I know is 4 times 6, and then times the slant height, which is what we're trying to find. And all that's divided by 2. Going one step further, I got 36 plus 24s divided by 2, and that's equal to 172.8. To get rid of this 36, I'm going to subtract it from the 172.8, and I get 136.8 is equal to 12s. Now dividing both sides by 12, I get s is equal to 11.4. Therefore, the slant height is 11.4 centimeters. Try the practice questions in the workbook and check your answers against the answer key. Mm -hmm.